Well, I have to give them full credit. Uh, they made our lives miserable. They attacked us all over the ice. They stretched uh, the zone. They were sending their players all the way to our blue line and making long passes and trying to tip it to somebody coming late. And uh, we had prepared for what we thought were all the things they were going to do. But again, our, our concept is to forecheck, get in and forecheck. Well, once again, we didn't put the puck in properly. And then we chased them and they just fired these long passes. So our D was under a lot of pressure. And I think we finally figured it out and had our third man back there better to give them the support. Uh, the last goal they got was again a breakdown and uh, the late man scored the goal. You always have to be looking behind you against a team like this because they're coming and it's the late man who's the most dangerous. The goalie sees the shooter, he sees the pass he can make, but he doesn't see that late guy either. And the late guy's usually coming right down the middle. So you got to clog the middle all the time. And, you know, that just happens. And we have to make sure that we're, we don't get into those situations, even if it scores 4-1 late, play hockey properly. Can we say that, that the last goal was because the first line won too much to score? Oh, I think they wanted to score, but, um, you know, D got caught and we had a forward coming back and the forward uh, maybe didn't look around the way he did, but they they were still trying to win. They still, even though there's only seconds left, they were jumping up the ice and they was a late guy coming and we were late coming back. So we can't play like that all game long, but, I, you know, and... Surely they knew the game was over, so they were taking a chance and it turned out to be uh, work against us. But I don't think we'll do that again. You are scoring a lot of goals, but on the other hand, well, power plays doesn't work really well. Power play has the puck a lot, but they don't shoot. So mm, there's not many goals go in if a team doesn't shoot. Uh, I've checked the stats. I'm not much of a stats guy, but if you never get a shot, you probably don't score any goals. And, we pass up great opportunities to shoot, to try to make another pass and make a seam pass from one side to the other instead of just shooting it at the net. And I, I just wish we would win a face off, take a shot, go to the net, bang around. We have big, strong guys that can score and rebounds, can score around the net. So just shoot the puck. It's the same thing uh, as five on five shoot the puck. We were outshot tonight, I believe, so I mean, that makes no sense. We have the puck quite a bit, but we want a perfect play. Libor Hudacek is playing fantastic tournament, but in the past it wasn't always easy with him. He had that situation with Rivik, he had that quote that we are playing Slovak hockey and not your hockey, but you, you trusted him and now it, it pays off. So did you ever maybe consider not to give him the second chance and how, how do you see his performance on this tournament? He's been brilliant. He's really played hard and he's tried to play in all ends of the rink. He, he obviously he's been good offensively, but he also back checks like crazy. Um, so he's playing smart hockey, trying to play in all three zones and do the best job he can. Uh, asks a lot of questions. He wants to see uh, what we're talking about. And then he's trying to do it. And his second goal was a perfect example of what I'm talking about. He's skating down the ice with good speed. They were four guys back, I think, and he just took a shot. What a surprise. He fooled everybody in the building, including the goalie. But it was a rocket and it went in. And these things happen if you shoot, but I bet they don't if you don't shoot. Some players complain it was too hot tonight in Iraq, in the arena. Did you feel it too? It was hot. What are you going to do? That's hockey. Uh, I played the Stanley Cup in Buffalo in 75. We had to stop every five minutes and skate around for five minutes to clear the fog because there was no air conditioning in Buffalo at that time. So, yeah, I've seen it happen. It's hot. It's uncomfortable. Uh, and you got to follow through and do your job.